Because God forbid you actually listen to the whole show weekday mornings, Monday to Friday. Here's the best of the Dean Pundell Show. 102.1 The Edge. Hello, Adrian. Hey. Where you been? Just relaxing, just watching TV. Uh, I, I missed for you. Two I've, weeks. Been, I've been calling you for a couple weeks. Where you Where you been? I was I was I, well, I fell asleep and I uh, didn't notice the my phone was ringing. You fell asleep for two weeks? No, for a while. How long's it? Oh, well, for an hour, an hour, uh, an, hour. Oh. for an hour. Just coincidentally, when we called, dude, I yeah. will say this because we contacted one another via the Facebook tool, and yeah. you're on it all the time. Yeah, because I can tell yeah, by your updates this. and all this stuff. You're on. You're on I all the time. This. You know this. <laughs> yeah. Drop it again like that. I know this. You know this. What's your deal? You love that thing, I guess. Yeah. You hooking up on that? You hooking no. up on Facebook? No. I'm, I'm, come on. I like women, okay? Come on. That's what he meant, Adrian. That's, a, that's what I'm asking you. Are you I hooking know, up with chicks? Uh, yeah, of course. No, not oh. the actual. <laughs> <laughs> You're hooking up with babes. So, well, why don't you tell us uh, who are they? What do, you got? what do you got cooking? I can't. I can't tell, really. Why? Because they don't, don't know? I don't know, no, because I don't know, because I don't know, because I, I don't know what kind of chicks I'm, I'm hooking up these days. Like, have you met any of them personally? <sighs> I, not that I can recall. No. Right. Mm. What about at square one when you're out there checking out prices and stuff? <sighs> well, some I saw, but I didn't. But I didn't bother because I didn't want to. What do you say to them when you go up? Do you go, hey, yo, my name's Adrian? No, no. Well, no. What's That's your line? What's your move? What's your move? What do you well, say to him? I, would, I just, I just, I just, uh, I, I don't know. I, don't know. I think uh, ask them, ask them, be nice to them, be polite, and ask them if they have to get together someday. You know, if they're not, if they're not too busy. You ever, you ever go like this? Yo, my wiener wants to meet you. No, never. Because oh. that would be inappropriate. Oh, oh, good. Good to hey, see that. You are growing up. Now, what about the uh, girl who uh, you had that sort of restraining order thing going on? What, like, what did you what say to her? There? Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 uh, let's see. Well, uh, I did. Well, I, well, I, well, I, well, the reason why I was bothering her, because, well, well, I kind of care about her. I care about her and her friend because cause I understand uh, how her friend feels and, 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 she, and, I, and I understand that she, and she, and she was, and she was upset because she, because, because her, because she thinks that that I was going to have sex with her friend, which is so, which is absolutely not true, and, and, and I literally understand that, and, and so, well, I want to, because I want to help. I mean, I'm a nice person. I want to help, but, cause, and, I'm assuming she might refuse to listen to me because she might think that that what I might tell them are are a couple of BSs. A couple of BSs, which is worse mm. than one BS. Yeah. Right. Right. right, right, like Doctor Evil and Austin Powers. Yeah, do it. Right. Uh, now, did did, <laughs> did she actually go and get a restraining order against you? No. She just threatened it. No, she she warned me. She warned me. What'd she say? What was she like? It, she's like, if you ever, <laughs> if you ever, if you bother bother me again, or whatever, she might file a restraining order against me. Right. And I'd be screwed. No doubt. Like yep. big, right? So you stop bothering her then. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, well, you know when someone threatens to take a restraining order out on you, that's a good learning tool yeah. about stalking they're, or they're, not, not stalking. What's good and bad because if Adrian, the fact that you can comprehend this means that you could never plead like insanity. Yeah. yeah. So you might want to rethink and like just pretend you don't even get that concept. Yes, I'll be aware of that. No, don't. It's a joke. <laughs> I don't want you to stalk anyone. No, no, no. I know. No, no, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. No, I'm just. I'm just responding about that. About about what you just said. What he said. I mean, because you know, because I'm learning. Because I'm learning. Atta boy. Atta boy. Well, you can only you can only learn about stalking one yeah. one stalk at a time. So, dude, getting back to your Facebook, I noticed that you know you can update what you're doing, what you've been up to, and yours says Adrian, whatever your last name is, wants to get married soon and does not want to spend his entire life. He's about the entire wrong, by the way. Living with his BS fat ass father. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> why do you Why do you not like your dad? Oh my god, he gives me BS regardless. Why does he give you BS? What kind of BS? What does he do? Uh, I know he he can he kind of explain these things to me. You know, he, I think it takes I think more than nine minutes long. You know, I mean, he tells me how to how or you know something like that. Like, mm. You know how these things go and blah blah blah. What things? What, go? Yeah. What things? Yeah. 
Excuse me? What things? Like, like what, you, you say you, you haven't really said anything. You say it gives you a lot of BS, but he tells you how things go. Like, give us an example of what he would tell you. Let's see. Well, let's see. Well, if I want to, if there's a woman that I want to meet, and, and she lives far away from where I'm from, which is Mississauga, Ontario, number one place in Canada, <laughs> yep. And she's from, uh, let's just say, um, let's see. Edmonton, Alberta, or okay. Spain, or whatever. Yeah. You know. Edmonton or Spain? Yeah, they're close. Okay. Well, well, my well, that, well, my father said that they 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 might have to take a plane or a boat yeah. to get from from right. from there to all the way to where I'm to where to I'm, Mississauga. Okay. Yeah, of course, no. exactly. And and you? Why did you? Why were you upset with that? Because I don't know. I think. Uh, Maybe it's because, maybe for, for no reason whatsoever. So maybe you're wrong in being mad at your dad? Yeah. Because, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but you can't, like, you, you need to take a plane to see you if you are hooking up with a chick in Spain. Or Edmonton. Yeah. And Dean talked to your dad one day. He seemed like a fairly decent guy, eh, Dean? Yeah. yeah. Seemed yeah. like a nice guy. You should be nicer to your dad. Yeah, but, but he's a square, though, man. Yeah. No one's he's a square. <laughs> I, mean, that kind of, that, I mean, that kind of thing, ever since, ever since the parents, Resource sensor, you know, censoring heavy metal, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, when they were offended that 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 kids are causing to commit suicide over music that Ozzy Osbourne was making, you know, no, or yeah, uh, what you're saying is your par- you're worried that your parents think your music's going to drive you to the devil or something. Not exactly, no, no, oh, not, no sorry. that's not what I said. What I said was, <laughs> what'd you say? That he, that, that he might, that he that he might be one of those people trying to put us down, like trying. Try, you know, try to shut us down. You know, shut who once, down? Once, our parents, parents in general. What are they oh. trying to shut down? Your parents? Because I know you know, our, our lifestyle. Or what, what kind of music we're listening to? Our youth. I mean, I mean, I, I mean. Don't you agree with the who on this one? People, people like that are trying to put us down. Not, talking, not really. No, talking, not really, talking, Adrian. Talking about my generation. Talking about my generation. No. No. No, not really. Because uh, I got to tell you, you're wrong. Really. mm Hmm. Okay. You want me to tell you why? Why? Because your dad just probably trying to protect you. That's all. Mm-hmm. And, and it sounds like you're allowed to listen to whatever music yeah. you like. Because you did say he might be trying to do this, like you haven't confirmed it, or probably haven't even asked him. Uh, Am I correct in that assumption? Uh, well, what do you think? I think I'm right. <laughs> That's okay. what I think. Yeah. I like doing that. That's a good. Mess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt that. <laughs> so what do you? Like, yeah, yeah. Like that. Well, you, well, you, well, you sure make a good point. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thanks, Adrian. Oh, you, should, you should be happy. You should love your dad. Yeah. He's teaching you, man. What about your mom? Do you love your mom? No. She, I mean, she. No, not really. No. No. no okay. Your Is your mom hot? She, she, well, she's kind of. I mean, she's kind of. She's kind of old. I picture her being sexy though. No, no. Well, your dad must like her. Yeah, well, oh, well, yeah, I, yeah, my dad does. Like, yeah, well, like there you her. go. Mm-hmm. I, I think ever since, I think they first met at, I think, some class or some sort. I don't know. What, I'll have uh, to look into that. Anything else you want to talk about today? I know it's been a while since we've talked. Anything yeah. bugging you? What's bugging you? Why, you? why is what is up with you thinking that spans like Nickelback or Slipknot or, let's see, I don't know, Coldplay or Gay? Well, Coldplay is Gay. Well, yeah, well, well, that, well, that I agree, but, 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 yeah, but, but Slipknot and Nickelback, no, not, Nickelback's, no, no exception. Yeah, Nickelback's pretty gay. Yeah, Slipknot's all right. Not, Slipknot's good. Not. It Don't is just so- Nickelback, man. I like a Nickelback. Okay, sing right. some Nickelback. Yeah. Okay. I like your pants around your feet. I like the one things on your knees. I like the way you just say please while you looking up at me. You're like my favorite damn disease. You're pretty good at that, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. yeah you're, probably, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow. <laughs> well, we know what you're talking about. You can't say that word. Oh, well, really? Yeah, you can yeah, say yeah. you can say rimmer. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. My bad. My bad. My so bad. you can say sorry. he's talking about a river. Go ahead. Yeah, he's talking about a river, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. river. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Get yeah. it? Get sorry. it? River. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. My bad. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I did not know that. <laughs> we're not mad at you, man. <laughs> no, no, we're good. We're. Uh, that's, uh, I just... like your pants around your head. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
You say pants around your head? I think so. Yeah. You're a tenacious D, you know, appearing oh. on 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 your on age on 220 Young Street, you know, or uh, or whatever Laurie Ann said. I forgot. <laughs> My brain may be messed up. Yeah. <laughs> no way. You're right on. You are spot on today, Adrian. All right, dude. Yeah. Anything else you want to say before we go? Yes. No. Yeah. Slipknot is not gay. Okay. Even though they might be wearing those sweaty smelling jock strap wearing masks. Which they may look like jockey straps. Okay. But regardless, they're not gay. Yes, okay. they are. Uh, nope, not not slipknot. Yes, they are. Mm, no. Nope. I'll tell you what is. Backstreet Boys, Jonas Brothers, Lance Bass, Justin Timberlake, George Michael, the Jonas Brothers. He said that. Now they're gay. There are and two. Zach, and Zach Efron, too. Zach Efron. Now he's way gay. <laughs> Do you have yeah. a list that you're drawing from, or are these yeah. just random off the top of your head? What's gay and what's not? No, I, I'm, just, I'm just looking at them and assuming... I, oh, I think they're gay. Yeah. I think they're gay. <laughs> including Zach Efron. Okay, I don't care if he, he's, he's with Vanessa Hutchins, okay? He's gay. Oh, you're I actually mean, thinking he's yeah. gay. Yeah. I, mean, like... the way he's, I mean, the way he smiles. I mean, that is, that is pure gay, dude. <laughs> he's got a point. Yeah. He's, he's got his gay face on. You see? Should, you should see him. You should watch High School Musical. I mean, you should you should see how he smiles. That is pure gay, man. Pure. 100%. Okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> and you know there's nothing wrong with that, though, right? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm, oh, did I say Backstreet Boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah back, they're way gay. <laughs> yeah, Especially yeah. AJ. Yeah, okay. Queer. Say AJ way gay. AJ way gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Now that is pure gay. Yeah, you got Hands it. Hands down. All right, man. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. No problem. All right, dude. Take care. All right. You too. Peace, dude. It's good to get what's gay from him. I think we're really helping his relationship with his dad, too, yeah, well, which is nice. He straightened him out. Remember when he told us that his dad walks around his house like he owns the place? <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew maybe it wasn't his dad's fault. Yeah. yeah. Reliving all the good times and a lot of the bad ones. The best of the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.